guys welcome back to another video so today we are at muskie con 2023 we're here drove all the way from chicago because the four horsemen are gonna be here so we're really excited there's also a lot of customizers out here too as well so we're gonna see first time we're here so let's go check it out Okay guys, so we just got here. It looks like this is a general entry line. So I think a lot of people are also waiting for Mythic Legion. So uh, yeah, it just it's gonna start in a few minutes. So we just got our wristbands right over here. So we'll go inside. I think we're gonna go straight to the Four Horsemen table and then yeah, we're excited. Let's go. Uh oh, look at this guys. We're in trouble. Evie. <laughs> okay guys, we are gonna wait for the line in Mythic Legions over here for the Four Horsemen table four horsemen line over here and we got Juan over here so good old Juan I see I see a couple of people here so we're excited looks like we're getting ready so there you go all right guys we are in the con and then we got the four horsemen table over here so we're excited let's go okay actually check it out guys retro rags what's up guys all right so we got the we got a legions concert here and we also got a couple of legions but everything Ooh. else is mesquite con Musky cat. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a maybe. I want to see what they got over here. So we'll be over here. So we're excited. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're starting to grab. I'm going to grab one of these. We got Erythir for Alex. So there we go. And then if you're curious about the prices, here you go. Oh, look at this. We got it. We got some more. <laughs> Okay, here we go, guys. We're at Wolf yeah, King Customs over here. So all of these are five dollars. The okay. hammers are ten, and the shields are ten. But all the regular weapons are nice. Five. Okay, here we go. Take a look, guys. It's pretty sweet. What's up, dude? What's up, Steve? How you doing, man? Look at it. All right, look at this. Look at all the awesome head sculpts here. All right, guys. We're here. Look at this, guys. We're here at Eric Miller's. We're here at his booth, so we're gonna take a peek at his customs here. Okay guys, you may remember DCG from Legion's Con. We got a horse stable over here. And then we got crazy, crazy cool fountains. Like, take a look. Like, holy cow. That's awesome. That's pretty sweet. Woo! Okay folks, take a look. We got a test shot here. Sphexian Guard. Looks dope. We also have uh, Purplore over here. Oh, this is so cool. This is so sweet. And we also have like a good amount of legions actually. So no surprises guys, no surprises. Oh, Zazar, 50 bucks. Oh man, I was wishing they had Valak. Ah, man, I would have grabbed a Valak at that price over there. I just, like they just pointed this out. Four horsemen design. Look at that price back in the day. But these are sweet, look at that, that's cool. Oh my god, guys, take a look at this. We got a Beerus over here. We've been getting into uh, DBZ Super lately, watching uh, watching everyone uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. <laughs> but it looks like we got a couple of figures over here too. So, oh, actually, speaking of which, look at that. Channeling all the Saiyans, including, uh, what's her name, Videl's baby. <laughs> We're just looking at some loose figures here. Yeah, some legends. Hey, what's his name? 
That is, uh, I'm not gonna pronounce his name. He who shall not be named on my channel. Look at this guy's Hawkeye. Some cool stuff. We got a lot of stuff over here, but you know, a lot of things you see in stores and 15 bucks, not bad. Oh no, guys, another one. Here we go. Ah. My God, guys, we got a rain court. <gasps> okay, guys, so uh, the Four Horsemen footage might not be as great because, yeah, it was just, we were moving along and there's not a lot of stuff, but we got a bag full of things. Picked up some stuff for uh, some friends. So, yeah, we're gonna keep looking around. Take a look guys, these are pretty sweet. More four horsemen toys. These are cool. And then we also have actually like some classic Power Rangers here. So nice little show here. Look at that. These are cool. And then we got some kiss. This is awesome. Alright guys, so we're actually at the uh, my wife is gonna kill me booth. We got some cool stuff here. So take a look. Ooh. Legions. Oh, look at this, guys. We got a Bellies here. Oh, snap. So, is this a custom figure? That's a custom head. Take a look. That's awesome. Look at Travis. Travis is putting out some birds right now. Some birds. Got some gems over here. And I can't believe I forgot to put them out. Uh oh. All right guys, so I got some stuff so far. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the car. Uh, spent some time talking to Nate uh, from Legion's Lounge. So, uh, fun stuff, fun stuff, just connecting with some uh, some people. So, we'll put this away and then we'll be right back. Look at this guys. We got World of Warcraft. Oh snap, that looks so good. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Look at all these. We got a tour in here. Ooh, that's awesome. Look at this, guys. We've never seen this before. This is pretty sweet. Black series. Look at that. Look at this, guys. We got Hobbit Lego sets. Look at this, guys. Juan's trying to get me to buy this. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Marvel Legends. Hey, yikes. Take a look at this. Opex Prince. Look at all these mugs. I love this one right here. <laughs> Okay, folks, we are back in the toy room. We are back in Chicago. And yes, guys, we did this all in one day. So we drove from Chicago to Michigan and back to Chicago all within 10 hours. So we definitely got a haul here. And before we start, you know, I just want to give you my thoughts on the show. It was pretty small. Uh, my wife and I, we go to a lot of conventions. This one was pretty small in comparison, but it was all good. It was packed with a lot of good stuff. This was the first time the Four Horsemen was there. That being said, a lot of other uh, Legion related stuff was there as well. Nothing as crazy as Legion's Con, but you know, it was cool. It was a cool uh, show to have in March because the next time I'm going to be going to a Four Horsemen show is going to be Legion's Con uh, in November. So we'll be flying out to New Jersey again. Uh, this year, no doubt about it. Also, I just want to say thank you to all the people that stopped me to say what's up that said that they watched the channel. You know, it's always cool to just talk to you guys. Also, shout out to Nate Strong, Corona4, for chatting for a bit. Shout out to Travis and the My Wife Is Gonna Kill Me crew. And also, shout out to Eric Miller. Anyways, guys, we got a haul here and I want to show you guys what we picked up. I picked up some stuff for friends. I even got mail from the Four Horsemen, so... I'm gonna show you guys what we got there in a second, so I'm excited about that. But uh, first off, guys, the Four Horsemen table. Why is there so much hype? Because, guys, you're buying directly from Four Horsemen. You are buying them at the cheapest price. Deluxe figures were 50 bucks. 
The character figures were 40 and the Legion builders were 30. Crazy good deals, totally worth it because half of these figures are pretty much worth double their prices. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up for my friends and then I'm gonna show you what we picked up over here. The first figure is actually a deluxe figure and it's Aether. So this isn't actually for me, this is for my buddy Alex. So. Alex wanted me to pick up a couple of the older figures. This was actually the only one that they had. So we grabbed an eighth year for him. He's another cool uh, collector here in Chicago. Shout out to you, Alex. Here we go. We got you your eighth year. I'll get this out to you uh, later this week. Another figure, guys, that I picked up for someone else was Barbarian Warrior Builder. Pick this up for Arts G. So if you guys know him, you guys should, if you don't, follow him on Instagram and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Arts, here you go, buddy. We got this for you. Uh, he wanted some female characters, so I just snagged this one for him. So here you go, Art. We got this one coming your way. And then I got a couple of things here, which you guys should not be surprised. I got four of something right here. So are you guys ready? We got four war thugs <laughs> take a look at this how crazy guys how crazy does this look so i originally just had three but when i was talking to nate he was like these are 40 bucks so i said okay one more but yeah here we go we got more orc army builders i am so freaking excited about this guys so he's got a lot of really good parts and i just said screw it you know i think usually people sell them for like 90 bucks a piece so 40 bucks i couldn't say no to these so definitely had to grab more orcs so the orc army is freaking growing i am so excited about that we also got a couple of stickers here these are just people passing out stickers so we got travis travis kept giving me stickers so here you go travis and the last thing that i picked up from the four horsemen table was an old figure and I was actually surprised to see this figure because he goes for a pretty penny. Okay, <laughs> we got Brother Mandibulus over here. So like I said, guys, picked him up for like 40 bucks. And I think he's a hundred plus for this guy if you want to get him uh, in the aftermarket. So I'm not typically a skeleton collector, but when I saw him, I just said, I need to grab that. So I grabbed one of them. And then, you know, I was thinking about grabbing another, but he was gone. You were only allowed to grab one per round and I got one and I'm pretty happy about that. So a nice older, rarer pick and I'm pretty happy about that. We didn't do too bad on the four horsemen table. Got some stuff for friends, got some stuff for myself and yeah. That's cool. That's pretty hype. Uh, I mentioned going to, uh, I mentioned looking at some of the customizers over there, their tables, and I had to grab two things, guys. So I'm gonna show the first one. The first one is a custom orc head. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. I got this custom orc head. I uh, got this off uh, from Steve Bushadi, Wolf King Customs. And the reason I picked this up, number one, guys, I'm picking up all orcs, right? Number one. And number two, he said he sculpted this one himself. I was trying to debate on which one to pick up. So he said he sculpted and painted this one. So that's pretty hype. And I said, oh, screw it. I need to pick this one up. And the next one is actually something I'm really excited for. And I can't wait to post this and mess around with it is this piece right here. This is an orc head from Eric Miller. So Eric Miller, in my opinion, is one of the best painters in the Mythic Legions community. There's just something about the way he captures. Let's just do this. Look at that, guys. What do you guys think? Holy cow. I knew right away when I saw his post, like I think it was like a couple of weeks ago or a month or two ago, when he said he was going to the show that I had to get this because I, I thought, you know, I thought when I went in the line, in the Four Horsemen line, there was a good chance I was going to miss getting this one. But luckily, it was still there. So I had to pick it up right away. I said, I'm buying that. So this was one of the reasons why I wanted to go to this show was to pick up a piece from Eric Miller himself. Because 
uh, he sells mostly at shows and the next time I'm gonna see his stuff is gonna be at Legion's Con and when I went to Legion's Con last year a lot of his stuff sold out right away so it's really hard to get you know a nice little custom piece but here we go guys we got some more orcs of course because we're trying to build a crazy orc army I am so obsessed with orcs but there we go guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this stuff but all right guys so last up we got a box from Thor horseman let's open this up boom look at that guys doesn't that look beautiful okay folks so these were uh from an in stock sale a couple of weeks ago and they just finally started finishing shipping these so boom we got two unknown ones here so Got some extra fodder parts. Pretty hype. Really cool figure. Uh, the standard version of the unknown one. So this one does not come with a skull head or the soft goods piece. But I got some uh, ideas that I have to utilize these. I am starting to get a little more into the custom painting for uh, 2023. That's going to be kind of my priority. Uh, as a Mythic Legions collector is to get into painting, but I'm taking my time uh, studying all about it because yeah, I don't want to mess it up and I want to make it look good. So got a couple of unknown ones because yeah, I needed the parts for some projects I'm working on. And next up guys, ooh, we got, here we go. So we got some Uwitz over here. Is that right, Uwitz? Yeah. Tarion and Uwit. So, a couple more of these guys. More builders. You gotta love it. And then, you obviously know what we got next over here. These are Lord Bushadi and Pelvicuses. So, we got tons of them. I'm really excited to have more of these legions because, guys, I am just completely obsessed with this line. I'm gonna pull this over here so you guys can see how insane this is. You can't even see the top of it, guys. It's a tower, a tower of legions and they're double stacked. Crazy. An insane Mythic Legions haul, if you ask me. Yeah, guys, like I said, Muskegon was really fun. I had a blast with it. First time going there, and if Four Horsemen goes again next year, I think I definitely will be going again. Want to pick up more Legions at the retail price if I can, because I'm trying to avoid paying aftermarket prices, you know? You have to be smart as a collector, and one of the smart things to do is to go to these shows if you can. So, I'm having a blast with collecting Mythic Legions. Anyways, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll catch you next time. Peace.